let's do a brief look at how to import a file from a, uh, um, a backup that you went to your uh, on your computer. So if you go to your teach pendant, you put file, you know, so like for instance, let me get, pull up this teach pendant here. So I'll show how teach pendant is going to boot up for me. Come on, you can do a teach pendant. You can do it. Show it. There you go. Okay, if I go to menu and then I go to file, file, this is where I would go to utility, set device, and I can set it from like the disk or USB on teach pendant. So if I'm on USB at teach pendant, I hit directory, it's going to then all that, and it's going to load a directory for the, the teach pendant. At this point, I can do backup everything, and it's going to back up everything on the, you know, and it hit yes, 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 and I go yes, 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 and it goes everything's hunky dory. It's going to generate all these things for me. Um, I did that already, and then I basically uploaded a file that's a zip file. Um, but let me, I'm going to keep this open because last time I tried it, it didn't work. Well, it worked, but it just bogged down on me. Come on, previous. So I'm going to keep this open, but I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to open it, or I'm going to go to new, I'm going to open RoboGuide, and I'm going to try to show you how this works from scratch. So hold on. So here's the software. So new cell, I'm going to click on new cell, hit next, hit next, and then this is if I do a new file from scratch, if I want to just do a new robot, all that fun stuff. Um, but if I want to create a, a file, I guess I have to click on this and then find my backup file. So what I'm going to give you is a, a zip file that looks like this. You're going to unpack it, you're going to unzip it, download it, unzip it, and it's going to have this file into it. And this is the file that you can use the backup. This is what I just got for my robot. I go ahead and hit next. And it's going to create the file from backup. Hit next. And it's going to go through and load all this and create a new robot for me. Okay? This is time consuming. And when it does, it's going to give you something that eventually that's going to look like this. Okay, a robot that looks like our robot with the DCS involved. I remember DCS is dual check safety. It has exclusion zones. It has my tool point here. Okay, you can see my, my gripper point out there. If you want to hide all this up here, like up here, you will see the uh, the turn off DCS thing. Okay, so that's what that is. So if I click that, you'll see everything turns off. Okay, so what I would recommend doing is if you want a gripper on there that matches, go over to tooling and EOT1 and right click and let's go to uh, EOT1 properties and I'm going to open up a CAD file this should default to a file location already um, and what we're going to do is put on this use this one right here okay but before you do just humor me under the scale X, put 0.1. Under the scale Y, put 0.1. Under scale Z, put 0.1. Okay? Because if I hit apply, you'll see a gripper show up, but it's going to be smaller, but off to the side. So take a look. If I want this to look better, go ahead and do this as negative 90. Here and you can now see it. RA setup, see that? And if you want to rotate another 90 degrees, you can. 
So that way it kind of looks like this. So this is the data you want to put in. So you want to put a gripper on the bottom of that. I'm going to hit lock all location values and apply. So now that if I jog this robot, so here's my teach pendant. Here, let me go back over here. And if I hit down, uh, let me hit uh, turn on my teach pendant, hit shift, reset. Okay. And let me just do a swing X. Oh, DCS limit. What the? Okay, see how's it moving? Now it's hitting the DC. It'll hit the DCS. So I turn this on. It's hitting the DCS. But you can see that it's actually moving and the gripper staying there. Okay? Cool. The other thing you can do if you want to is for under simulation, and this will come in handy later, just do bin picking or um, let's not do bin picking, let's do material handling clamp and then open up and put that one in there um, where it says uh, the uh, 3600F204. Okay. And so now, and I've hit apply, I can open and close the gripper. In theory. Yep, it's closed. Now it's open. Let me zoom in and you can see that. Close, open. Close, open. So when we start simulating stuff, you have something of a gripper there. It's not like our gripper completely, but it's something. Okay. So that is what we're going to do. And just to go back to things, this is how long it took to load. And this is the other thing to show you that it did work. So Handling Pro 3, but it allowed me some time to talk through some of this other stuff. All right. I hope that's helpful. And we'll talk to you again soon.